Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a reading for the collective for August 31st, 2020. Can you guys believe it? We have gotten to the end of August. Congratulations. I hope you guys are all well, you're happy, you're healthy. Now this is a reading for all signs, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And let's go ahead and invite spirit, angels, ancestors, loved ones who have passed, spirit guides, and ascended masters to this space to deliver the messages whoops, that we need to hear. Messages for the collective, please. Woo. All right, the lovers. The lovers popped out. Gemini energy. For some of you, this might have to do with your twin flame, your soulmate journey, but it is also originally the card of choice. Do check out your Pisces full moon readings. They should all be available to you now. The world card also popping out. Wow. Some of you guys are coming into the realization, those of you on a soulmate or a twin flame journey, that your union has the express purpose of healing and awakening the collective. I'm just picking up on lots of love here, you guys. All right, but let's see what comes out in the reading. All right, Page of Wands, Nine of Wands. Oh, wow, some renewed energy. Some of you guys have been healing, absolutely, and the Hierophant in reverse. Okay, overall energy for this is the lovers. Again, it sure did want to pop out, Gemini energy. For many of you guys, this does speak to your twin flame, your soulmate journey. For those of you where it doesn't, it's about this balance between the masculine and the feminine that you have within. We have the hanged man. This is this Piscean energy. This is what you are receiving. You guys are going to have some very special insights, communications, psychic upgrades, aha moments with this Pisces full moon. The hanged man energy here showing up Absolutely. You guys trust your intuition, trust the messages that you are receiving, trust your gifts, everything that you've been through. And all of these Pisces full moon readings that I've done, almost every sign, there were challenges. And the theme for this week and for this lunation, for this lunar cycle is that challenges happen for you, not to you. And most of all, we have been through a very tumultuous six months. And the last couple of months, we've had these eclipses and we've gone through Lionsgate. So do not doubt that you have received new light codes, that you are integrating them, that you have received an upgrade to your psychic abilities. Okay. And for many of you, this is bringing you closer or even into union with your soulmate, with your tw twin flame and your soul's purpose. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful energy. The first card out, you get the Page of Wands. Now this is fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag. But this is this renewed excitement and vigor and passion for, you know, I feel like some of you guys, especially with this Three of Swords in reverse coming out, you've been doing the shadow work. You've been healing. And you've given yourself this time out and you're coming back bigger, better, badder, more of a boss than ever before. And you're so excited about it. This is really, really good news, you guys. The Nine of Wands, this is one of my soulmate cards because it speaks to the lifetimes that you've been through. You know, the lifetimes that it's taken for you to gain all of this knowledge here with this Wands energy. For some of you, you're coming into this understanding that you've been with this person for many lifetimes and you have a contract to always find each other, to always be on each other's paths. The Nine of Wands is the card of the Wounded Warrior. So somebody who's experienced a lot of heartbreak, a lot of sadness, has bumps and bruises, their body is a canvas, right? That, you know, that, that shows everything they've been through, everything you've been through. And it's tough, but the Nine of Wands is about the respite. It's about this really long, hard journey that you've been on. There have been ups, there have been downs, taking that time out 
and then boom, this blast of energy with that page of wands to rush to the finish line for that ascension, for that completion, for that union, whatever it is that's coming your way next on your soul's journey. The Three of Swords, this is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. It's beautiful in the reverse because it's releasing heartache. It's releasing trauma, sadness, disappointment, betrayal. You're no longer anchored. You're healing. You are healing. And this is amazing. Um, then you get the Hierophant in reverse. I like this because the Hierophant is the opposite of the hanged man that we see here. The hanged man is all about going within to find the answers, trusting your higher self, trusting, you know, you're not relying, you're not relying anymore on doctrine or outside dogma or what you're told. You have now experienced it yourself. And so now you know that this inner wisdom, the experience in this lifetime and all of the lifetimes before is, is all that you need. And I love this because it's a very spiritual journey, but it's also a departure. It's a strength. It's a coming into your own. It's you bossing up. It's you understanding that you're here to see the light and your path is very unique. Okay. And it's very powerful. So let's go ahead and pull some additional messages for the collective for August 31st, 2020. Okay, and you get chaos and conflict, number 33. I love this because 33 is the master teacher number, you guys. The student is becoming the master. And that's you guys. And all of the chaos and all of the conflict that you've experienced, you guys have transmuted this. This is spiritual alchemy. You are getting it. You're stepping into this understanding. You're also understanding that you create your own reality and how you react to chaos and conflict is what's gotten you to this point that you're no longer getting sucked into it. You're no longer only reacting, that you are the creator. You're the creator of your life, of your reality, of your destiny. And so you can either be sucked in and under and bowled over by sadness and heartbreak, or you can take it and turn it into wisdom. And that's what you guys are doing. And you guys are healing through this process. 33, the master teacher number. Some of you guys are becoming teachers yourselves. I just, I'm seeing like your, your celestial choir. I'm seeing, you know, your spirit guides, ascended masters applauding. Like this is graduation day. Thinker number 44, another master number. Look, so we have 33 and we have 44. This is beautiful because also the nine of wands is this respite, is this pause, this time to also reflect on how far you've come. And it's actually part of your success. It's this built in, you know, to celebrate your small successes, especially your big successes, but also taking care of yourself. The nine of wands, I keep hearing it's the wounded warrior. You've been through a lot. Take care of yourself, celebrate, have a good meal, you know, have a toast, you know, uh, get a hug, do whatever it is that you do to celebrate, but how far you have come because the person you are today is vastly different than the person you were even three months ago. And I love that. The thinker. It's beautiful. 44 is the master number that relates to the material world, to building your success, to your foundations. And 33 followed by 44. That's telling me you are exactly where you need to be. Everything is, in, is unfolding just as it is intended to. All right. And then... You get number 15, message in a bottle. So this is beautiful energy because the page of wands is a messenger of really good news. Something that's very exciting. For many of you, it has to do with an aha moment or a message that you receive or a download with this full moon in Pisces. And I love that this message in a bottle is coming on in the sea, right? This watery energy, this psychic energy, this emotional energy. You know, we're taking some emotionally deep dives during this Pisces full moon. Beautiful message in a bottle. This is very good news. Some of you guys, this does speak to your union or to your love. And this is someone or something that's taking, it has taken quite some time. It may still be taking its time to get to you, but it's on its way. The journey has begun. Imminent, imminent is union, is success. 
happiness. I love it. I love it. And then also reminder for you guys who, you know, remember how how you have received these psychic upgrades trust your abilities you know i read your comments i know that i have a lot of clairsentience clair audience out there trust the signs and synchronicities that you are receiving karmic completion completion of a cycle yes and remember within a cycle we have small completions but you guys this is that push the page of wands is that exhilaration is that zest is that vitality is that charisma this is me coming out this is who i am i'm doing it and you're getting it done absolutely some of you guys are leaving you know leaving a relationship because again the lovers is beckoning me to say remember me you know we are having you know there is love there is romance here but for many of you on a soulmate or twin flame journey you have come you are wrapping up a cycle that is now going to free you to come into union okay all right, and then we get compassion, number 99. Look at that, we have 10 and then we have nines coming out. So again, compassion, having compassion for yourself and others. As you know, this journey is a long and winding road. It's not easy, but you know, to treat yourself with the love and the compassion and to see the light, that's what we're here for. Those of us, you know, we've chosen to reincarnate at a particularly difficult time. All of the challenges, I'm going to repeat myself. You're going to hate me. You're going to be sick of it by the end of the week. But all of these challenges are happening for you, not to you. And a reminder just to walk in the light and the love and compassion as we are going through these changes as the collective and as Gaia. Okay, so extend the compassion that you extend to others, to yourself. And then we get team spirit. Work together as a team. Cooperation, enthusiasm, loyalty, and kindness will ensure a successful outcome. Absolutely. So we have union here. Working together. This is also a reminder that you are supported on this journey by your angels, your ancestors, your spirit guides, your animal spirits. Trust the messages you are receiving because they are constantly supporting you and helping you along on this healing journey. What a beautiful, positive reading. I love you guys. Thank you for listening. Please don't forget to check out your Pisces full moon readings if you haven't already. And um, I'm also wrapping up your September love readings this week. So I hope you have an absolutely beautiful day. Take care.